magic can be found on a warm summer night in Iowa. And it's a natural wonder you're likely to find in your own front yard. They're fireflies. And as a kid, you may have captured them in a glass jar so you could take the glowing bugs inside and watch the magic as you fell asleep. We met a man who spends a lot of time capturing fireflies, but he doesn't use a glass jar. He prefers a camera, and his photographs make it possible to enjoy the magic of bioluminescence year-round. Redeem Schreiber works as a photographer-videographer at the Sky Factory in Fairfield, Iowa. The company creates a variety of products that allows people to enjoy the outdoors, even when they're limited by an indoor environment. Sky Factory creates illusions of nature, and we build sky ceilings and virtual windows, which are portals into the nature. So we record natural scenes, and then we display it in, in healthcare environment primarily, especially in rooms where they don't have windows. The photographs or videos that Redeem takes are framed in skylights or windows and illuminated from behind. The scene could be anything from a mountain stream to an ocean shoreline. As you gaze out the virtual window, an audio track adds to the illusion. You know, they have made studies where these uh, virtual windows and skylights, they directly affect the patient and their recovery rate. Yeah, so there's direct benefit with, with what we do. Redeem's work takes him to beautiful places all over the world. But one of his favorite places to take photographs is only a short bike ride from where he lives. He goes there as day turns to night to try and capture with his camera the magic of bioluminescence found in fireflies. It's a passion that grew from photographing other insects while a student in college. And as a student, I didn't have the resources and the time to travel. So being able to go in the backyard, you know, behind school, in the flower field and find this incredible uh, life that is happening right there and then see it through the camera lens, capture it and then show it and share it with other people. Uh, that's, that was exciting. That was really exciting. So the fireflies was kind of the extension of my, of my insect photography passion. Redeem grew up in the Czech Republic. He says he only remembers seeing fireflies twice as a child. You know, back in Czech Republic, there are very few fireflies. It's very rare to see them. When I came to the United States, to Iowa, and the fields would illuminate with these flashing lights, it was just so amazing. It, it's, it's magical. When shooting fireflies, Redeem starts in the evening, when they're just starting to come out, and there's still enough light to be able to focus on a single firefly. Once it gets too dark to see and exposure times become longer, Redeem concentrates on capturing communities of fireflies. I am exposing it long enough to see the contours of the trees and, and the grass. And as I do that in a long exposure, the fireflies are flashing. And every time there is a flash, it gets imprinted onto the digital chip of the camera. So at the end, the result is more fireflies than one can see at one moment. Other than increasing his exposure times, Redeem doesn't manipulate the pictures he takes. He says he prefers to preserve the moment the way nature did it. You know, I am all about the, the visual aesthetics, the, the beauty. You know, I, I, I like to capture the beauty. That's, that's, that's in my heart. I love that. I am not a scientist. It is, however, the science of bioluminescence that makes fireflies seem so magical. My favorite animals in the world are fireflies. I think that the two most fascinating things to have ever evolved in the living world are flight and bioluminescence, the ability of organisms to create their own light. And in fireflies, we see an animal that has evolved both. 
Brendan Dunphy is a research associate at Iowa State University whose expertise is mosquitoes. However, Dunphy's passion is fireflies. There are probably more species than what you think. There are actually 150 to 200 species in the United States. But we probably come across a handful every summer here in Iowa. Now this happens to be Photinus pyralis, uh, which is known as the pyralis firefly or the Big Dipper firefly because of the way that it dips in its path of flight. According to Dunphy, the bioluminescence in fireflies serves two purposes. The first is to warn predators that they're poisonous and inedible. The second is to find a mate. So you have to realize that when a firefly flashes, it communicates at least three pieces of information. Its species, its sex, and its exact location. And those three things are really all you need to be able to find a mate. Fireflies only bring the magic of bioluminescence to Iowa for a few short hours each night during the summer. It could be why people find them so interesting. I don't think I can ever become tired of watching these things at night. They are one of the true wonders of the natural world, not only biologically, but also artistically.